इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू लर्न फ्रॉम लेटेस्ट सिलेबस प्रैक्टिस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन रैर देन स्टील कंटेंट बिकॉज वी नो दैट डे बाई डे टेक्नोलॉजी इज इवॉल्विंग यू जस्ट कॉन्ट रिलाई ऑन स्टील कंटेंट एंड एक्सपेक्ट टू पैस दिस एग्जाम इफ यू मिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू एटी प्लीज चेक प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ दीज सो द की वर्ड हेयर इज बायस वेन एवर यू सी की वर्ड लाइक बायस इन द क्वेश्चन देन वी नो दैट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फेयरनेस comes into picture because principle of fairness means the ai system should be unbiased and so we'll keep option b and reject the rest and if you look at the official documentation it's written fairness ai system should treat all people fairly so that is the meaning of fairness that is treat people fairly or like unbiased so that's what the intent of principle of fairness The log option B as the correct answer. All right, all right. We are at question number eighty-two now. Since the service is exposed as REST API, we need REST API key and REST endpoint to authenticate request. Therefore, we'll keep option A and C, and reject the rest, and lock it as the correct answer. All right, we got to select the. Correct statement and mark it as a no. The first statement says organizing story books into groups based on similarities of stories is an example of clustering. Since we need to group, so there can be two potential answer. We know one is clustering, second is classification. As per the question, since we need to group based on similarities, hence clustering. is the correct answer so we will mark this as yes now let's move to statement 2 it says grouping customers based on similarities of symptoms and diagnostic test is an example of clustering i have already highlighted the main keywords the same reason goes for box 2 as well if you have already understood box 1 that is statement 1 how have Uh, and came at the correct answer then box 2 statement 2 should be easy because these are both similar or related uh, the same reason goes behind this see uh, so uh, we since we need to group based on similarities so this can be again done with the help of clustering so the answer is yes now let's move to statement 3 3 says predicting whether a patient will have mild moderate or high fever based on symptoms is an example of clustering since this time we need to group into mild moderate or high that is uh, we also need to predict here as well so whenever we are uh, grouping into some uh, two making two three divisions or more and also same time simultaneously predicting then we need classification not clustering So the answer is no for this, and we will log this as the correct answer. Let's bring the heat to the snow. We'll look at our statement one first. Statement one says validation set incorporates a set of examples which can be used to train a mode. A validation set is different from a test set. We know. So the answer is no for this. Let's move to statement two. Two says in order to determine how good a model predicts labels. a validation set can be used since a validation set can be used to validate the model so the answer is yes because that's what a validation set do we'll mark this as yes let's move to statement 3 now it says a validation set can be used to check whether all training data is used to train the model so a validation set cannot test if all the train split of data set has been used to train the model as its out of scope so the answer is no for this we'll log this as the correct answer okay this is an interesting question as it's related to cap journey in order to predict the fare of cap journey we need to use regression since the goal is to find a numerical value if, if you look here that is forecast the fare fair is nothing but a numerical value that being said we need to use the trip distance as feature therefore we'll give option d 
and reject the rest we'll look this in the official documentation where a similar scenario is described here if we read here regression is a form of ml used to understand the relationship between variables to predict a desired outcome regression predicts a numeric label or outcome based on variables or features for example an automobile sales company might use the characteristics of a car you need to focus on this this is the car example is related to somewhat the cab example such as car engine number of seats mileage and so on to predict its likely selling price in this case the characteristic of the car are features and the selling price is the label that's what is required we we'll lock d as the correct answer all right this is pretty straightforward question because we have encountered similar question to predict a numerical value since we need to predict a number or a numeric value therefore we need regression we'll keep option a and reject the rest and lock it as the correct answer all right all right we need to fill in the blanks so we can create machine learning models using adding and connecting modules on visual canvas in so option a if we look that is by adding and connecting modules on the canvas this looks good we'll uh, keep this and uh, reject the rest and lock it as the correct answer all right in order to answer this type of question you need hands on the first statement says the process of tagging training data with values which are known is known as labeling since labels are the outputs that is we map each set of features to a label so the answer is yes don't just pass your ready certification instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf exclusively for diamond members and above become member now by clicking the join button to unlock this book then connect and inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physic so that i can help you out with the pdf access let's move to statement 2 statement 2 says we should evaluate a model by using the same data used to train the model we should use not the same data we should use different data to train the model the statement is incorrect the answer is no let's move to statement 3 it says accuracy is the main metric used to measure a model's performance since precision and recall are other important factors or metrics in a classification scenario other than accuracy what is mentioned here so the answer becomes no we'll lock this as the correct answer okay another interesting question related to ml designer this will test your concepts the statement one says azure machine learning designer contains a drag and drop visual canvas to build deploy and test machine learning models yes this statement is true if you've done the hands on you already know it we'll move to statement 2 it says azure ml designer enables us to save the progress as a pipeline draft we can save the progress as a pipeline draft this statement is true so the answer is again yes let's move to statement 3 it says ml designer enables us to include custom r functions uh, this is bit tricky question just remember we can customize only python and r functions other than that none are supported since there is a mention of r so the answer is yes we'll lock this as the correct answer all right all right this question is about automated ml and it will test your concepts let's move to statement 1 statement 1 says automated ml provides the ability to include python script written in training pipeline in automated machine learning we cannot insert python scripts or code and the answer is no for this let's now move to statement 2 statement 2 says automated ml uses solutions without the need for knowledge in programming this statement is true we'll mark this as yes let's move to statement 3 it says automated ml uses the ability to visually connect modules and data sets on interactive canvas in automated machine learning we can select data but not modules moreover no canvas is being used in automated machine learning answer is no so we'll lock this as the correct answer so all the best for your exam these are like um, updated i'm updating this series on regular basis so please 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 don't go away i'll be uploading more practice sets related to 
different Azure or higher associate level exams, which are high paying certifications. You can have a look at those. So let's meet again in our next video.